This is question 8 from paper 1 of the 2014 National 5 Maths exam. We're given a sum of three thirds and I asked to express it as a third in its simplest form. A square numbers, 9, 16, 25, 36 and so on, have square roots that are whole numbers. And that fact is what we use when we're trying to simplify an expression like this. Seems to be an awful lot of multiples of 10 here. Look at this one. 4 times 10. And then let's look at the second one. Well, it's just 1 times 10. This one's 9 times 10. These square numbers are appearing underneath the square root sign. Now, one of the important things to know is that if we're taking the square root of a product, it's the product of the square roots. For instance, if we, if we had 4 times uh, 9, that's the square root of 36, which is 6. And the square root of 4 times the square root of 9 is 2 times 3, which is 6 again. So we are allowed to take the square root of 4 and multiply it by the square root of 10. We'll just leave this one as it is just now. Square root of 9 times the square root of 10. Now we know the square root of 4 is 2. We know that the square root of 9 is 3. You might recall that 2 times x we normally write as 2 lots of x, 2x, and 3 times x we normally write as 3x, 3 lots of x. We do the same with thirds. 2 lots of root 10 plus 4 lots of root 10 plus 3 lots of root 10. How many root 10s do we have? 2 of them plus 4 of them, plus 3 of them. That's 9 lots of root 10. It's the same as if we had 2x plus 4x plus 3x. We'd say how many x's? We've got 2 of them, plus 4 of them, plus 3 of them. We've got 9 of them. And that's simplified because the number under the square root 10 does not have factors that are square numbers. 2 times 5 is the best we can do with a 10. and Neither the square root of 2 nor the square root of 5 work out as whole number answers. So we've reduced this third to its simplest form.